Uh, it's gonna keep probably the same design. I don't want the cabin here with this boat at this road. So getting started in this episode, it looks like we have a ton of dead bodies and I have no mortuaries or anything up here, which might be a good idea to get these because in the end of the day, we're trying to get some challenges and this would directly help with the overall goal of filling up cemeteries here. So we're going to go over to the medical tab and that's going to be here and we're going to get some of these. So what this is going to do is so instead of doing crematorium, crematorium would just get rid of the body entirely and then the cemetery allows someone to keep the body around so what we need to do is get these cemeteries up as high as possible so i say we need to get rid of the crematoriums honestly if we want to just amplify our numbers here we just get rid of the crematoriums we would be good uh they're gonna send down the hearse to go pick up all these dead people uh in all these homes it looks like this neighborhood's kind of kind of the worst honestly they're doing a really good pickup job uh, taking a look at everything that's going on, I thought that there was water added right here, which honestly it would be cool if there was water added right there. Uh, but that was a forest fire that happened in that general area. I'm not sure why. Looks a little interesting. Even the fuck the, the hotel resort just looks so bleak now and just so depressing. I don't know what happened. Uh, and I don't know when that happened because I don't remember seeing that happen anytime. So that's always good. So taking a look at our city... Uh, it looks like our roundabouts are doing all right. Uh, they are dissipating that traffic like we do want. It doesn't seem like any of the roundabouts are holding too much stuff. This one's a little clogged up on this main road, but for the most part, uh, our stuff is working. Uh, no more room there. I don't think that these have any challenge, but I don't really want to do anything. That's probably why this has so much fucking pollution right here. Just because it's, it's just so full that it's just dumping shit out. How are our new neighborhoods doing? Oh my god. I assumed that this would directly help all of this that was going on, and I guess I was drastically fucking wrong. Uh, our traffic is flowing. We have a little bit of backup happening, but our traffic is flowing with these roundabouts. We got a little zigzag stuff going on here, uh, but I'm just not sure why. Oh, you know what we're going to need over here? We're going to need some warehouses for all of our stuff. So let's go ahead and go into here really quick. I'm going to go to warehouses. I would say that a medium-sized warehouse would probably suffice. Uh, I'm not sure if I want it directly on that road or that road because I think that's just a two-lane. Okay. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to go up and around here. Oh, this isn't going to work, huh? No, I can draw them right next to each other. Perfect. <clears throat> I don't want it to be super sloppy, so let's go ahead and go to one that actually makes sense. Uh, with what's going on. We're going to use the same industrial road here. We're going to get some nice curves going on. That way it looks presentable and good. For some reason, it's just not going to work now, huh? So. Oops, I did not mean to delete that house. I want to say I went a little too far with this. So let's try this yet again. Oh, you know what I should do? I should just go off right here. That would be so much easier to kind of get... The curvature of the rail that we want. Oh, perfect. Watch. Boom, like that. And then uh, from here, I say we just switch back to this. And we can get ourselves a nice straight road that goes straight across. Now, I can have the traffic flowing on this side. And we'll see how this... Oh, uh, you know what I should do? I should just continue this. Probably like right here, huh? So we have this little generator here. I'm going to move that. I'm going to move it right there. Get this road to come back up to this intersection that we already have. That way we're not wasting space. We don't want to, you know, I'm not wasting space, but we don't want to make another intersection and just fuck everything up uh, when we could make it a little better. I would say that looks decent. So now this will give us two ways into this area. The only thing I don't like is the fact that this intersection is going to fuck shit up if people try to leave through here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this now and we're going to work backwards. Actually, I didn't even really need to do that, huh? Okay, we're going to do that. That way it gets it away and it puts it at this other intersection that's already here. I think that's going to be our best bet. Um, just to keep the traffic to a minimum. I don't see much traffic leaving this way anyways, which is quite odd. That's like not a thing for some reason. And I feel like this uh, whole stretch of road here with like the factories, it's not really designed good. It looks kind of shitty if I'm being truthfully honest. Because we usually don't make stuff like just that basic. 
And I think with all the other intricate stuff we have going on, it just doesn't feel like it's at home. So we might have to delete all that. Honestly, I say if we get rid of all this, this would be better. Oh, we need warehouses like right now. Uh, so let's get the warehouses. Let's focus on one thing at a time here. So we're going to do it like this. I'm going to put a nice separation point in between. And I think we're going to be able to fit three there, uh, which is good. So let's get this sourced out for commercial goods. Because that's what those factories make is just, you know, basic commercial goods. Uh, and then they can take all their products that no one's going to buy and just kind of shove them over here. So that way they stay healthy. Economy goes, well, we're up to 101 debt now. Fucking Christ, man. That number is just climbing. We had it so controlled, and now it's just not even controlled. It's actually kind of scary. Okay, so that's going to be good. We need some electricity for over here. I say we take it across here. Put it right there. For right this second, until we get some other stuff filled out... That's at least going to have to just be how it is. Wow, traffic is getting so fucked right now. And this is a decent roundabout. It's it's way more lanes than a roundabout should be because no one would go in the third lane around roundabout unless they're just circling there. Uh, but you'd think that the traffic would be flowing a lot more unless I have the intersection points all fucked up. Let's go ahead and take a look at our junctions here. So everyone's just kind of accumulating into each other. I'd say the biggest backup is kind of happening... Uh, I want to say on this road, it's a very short road, which could be causing some issues here. That's nothing I necessarily want to fix right now. So I'm going to let that kind of just fend for itself and we'll just kind of see how it goes. What I also could do is instead of this uh, windy road, well, then again, I think the windy road helps because it allows more traffic to sit in here or it might just be fucking shit up. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but we'll focus back on this here in a second. Uh, that is a hundred percent full. What is the uh, thing that it's given off on that, though? Oh, here we go. Not enough raw materials. What does it need? Oil? Well, how is that possible? You have... You have, like, 100% full barrels here, which doesn't make any sense. So you have plenty of stuff that you can use. And this is making $23,000. Like, this is one of our best things that we have here. 4000 on that. I want to just do a quick search on these and or a quick look at these. Uh, this has zero income. I don't know what the fuck I've done here, but it's not... It's not doing too good. Uh, what is my weekly visitors? Visitors Zero. That'll do it. I think I need to set all the parks to main park. I think I just figured that out. So let's... Uh, oh, two... And they immediately start showing up again. Yeah, we don't want a fine for fireworks. Uh, does this other one have a fine for fireworks? It is. Because it's technically a zoo. So we don't want to make it all crazy and shit for the uh, animals that live there. Let's get rid of some of these... Uh, I'm sorry. That wasn't English. Let's get rid of some of these power lines, which are kind of going to nothing. I believe this animal world has power, though, if I'm not mistaken. So what that was powering before, I'm not entirely sure. These commercial zones are about 100% full on pretty much all of them. So we're looking good on stuff getting out to areas that we need to. How's our farm doing? 4,716. We could definitely be doing better on our farm, but it's throwing zero errors, which means it's just functioning properly. So we can probably amplify... One of these things that we have here, I don't know what exactly we should amplify, but it's it's doing good. That's that's a good part. Um, I don't think it would be a good idea to have celebrate fireworks here. Three visitors. Okay, not bad. Total visitors until next level 349 out of 500. It's went down, which is a little bit unfortunate. We are making an income though. So our expenses are 400, but we're making uh, about $47. So we that has went up tremendously, which is kind of nice to see. Uh, we have main park set up. Let's go ahead and just take a look. Now, remember, we have went through and... Oh, God. What is this? Police station? How did that get so close to the park there? Oh, this whole area doesn't have fucking power. So we're definitely having a electricity problem with just this one wind turbine. Because it's not even in an appropriate area that's getting us wind. I just realized that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Out here, we're going to go ahead and make a... Like a solar area uh, for this. And I think this will work good because then um, it'll kind of be like green electricity instead of having power lines throughout the whole area. And this will definitely give it enough power uh, throughout its lifespan and anything that we choose to kind of add. I feel like that's a little too close, but I think that'll be perfect. And then you'll have like the National Forest. This is kind of off to the background. Um, and yeah, just give it a second. That'll all be perfect. There we go. Let's check consumption. Perfect. 100% availability in this whole area. And I think... I think we can even get rid of some of these uh, power lines here. 
Like, they're close enough to where it's all connecting. Except for this shit right here. So, maybe not. We might not want to do that just yet. We got a medical clinic, firehouse, and then the police station. I, I want to draw the police station back a little. I feel like it's a little too close to the campground. I want to take it out of the campground. And then I think we're also going to need to get power back into the campground here. Because they just lost it. Oh, there's no way that connected. Nice. Okay, well, somehow they have underground lines and that shit's all good now. I still, for the life of me, can't understand why this area is suffering so much when it comes to... Unless that's warehouses. Uh, you know what? They probably have completely full warehouses here. Not completely full. They can still fit shit in there. So why they're... Is it too much product? Uh, let's see here. Not enough buyers for product, which means that we need more warehouses out here. Because that's what most of these flags are right here. We got some, we got minor issues with the, uh, you know, not enough people to populate the businesses, but for the most part, it's this issue right here. So let's go ahead and copy these over. Uh, traffic's not that bad over here. So I'm going to see if I can fit like a couple medium ones. I'm going to do this here. That's all we're going to be able to fit, huh? I'm going to just kind of shove them as best as we can into this area. We're going to have to kind of impede into this, uh, power lines that we have. But those still should work because it's going to go through the building technically. So let's set these up as special goods just like before. I want to get this industrial area thriving. I don't know why it's not. I have other industrial areas that have zero issue thriving and actually doing really good. All the buildings are complete max level and stuff like that. So if I can get this area like that, I would be happy. Which would then help the you know housing and stuff around it. Good jobs and all that. Okay, not enough buyer's product. Hopefully they can get some um, some cars out. When, uh, what I have here, too, we have some dead space kind of like in this area. I don't want to take down too many trees. We're going to have to take down that business. And I'm going to kind of extend this. You know, I think this industrial area looks so weird because I'm over here using fucking weird ass like grass on the side. Like it just doesn't make any sense. So what we're going to do is I'm going to find an area where I have relatively large industrial roads, which honestly I don't in any industrial area, which is kind of stupid. Okay, this one has some large ass roads. Uh, they already have that in this area, so let's just upgrade it to stuff that's a little more feasible. Oh, I see. So those big roads are... Oh, I can update or upgrade that without it causing an issue. So I'm going to do these uh, as construction roads. Or not construction, but like industrial roads. Something that doesn't have that shitty uh, outline of grass on the outside. Which I don't think looks really good in this area. I don't want to fill out any more offices until we get this place under control. It seems like those warehouses have helped dissipate some of that stuff. See, I see more workers stuff now. Uh, so let's get some more. But I want to get some on the lower half. <gasps> Which will maybe directly help the businesses that are down in this area. You guys are just going to do stupid ass U-turns the whole time, huh? Why? Why is that even a thing? All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to extend it out this way. We're going to do a nice big square, like a rectangle-ish almost. I guess that's more of a square than anything. Uh, and then we can just break this in. Well, if I break it in half, then we're going to run out of room almost immediately. Let's see how... You know, smoke alarms just going off in the house really quick. That's always safe. Uh, so I'm going to see where I can attempt to put these. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to not have as much room as I was hoping for, generally. So let's see if I can get the medium ones. Oh, wait, that was... These are the fucking... The large ones are massive, dude. Oh, my God. I could build up that water a little, but that's just going to fuck with the whole creek, and it's not going to be good for anyone's sake. So those weren't even the large ones that I put in. Those were the medium-sized fucking warehouses. Should get a fucking big one there, but it's not going to work. Okay, so medium size. Let's see how many small ones. We could definitely just circle this whole area. I'm going to try to cut it in half really quick just to see what we're working with with uh, something cut in half. Yeah, I want to say we would get more in there if we didn't have a circle or I'm sorry, a road in the center. So let's just try to fill it out as best as possible. I'm going to put them in the corners first. Okay, so we already ran into an issue where that's not going to work. So, what we're going to need to do is back this up just a wee bit. And this is going to allow us to just get a little more space in there when it comes to these warehouses on the inside. And we're going to take this. Alright, we're going to put that in the corner as well. One off from the side there. 
one off from the side there. And that's not going to leave us a ton of room, but I think what we could do is we can squeeze in two larger, like medium sized warehouses, which will just allow for us to maximize the amount of stuff going on in here. And I can fit one more right there. Yeah, it's going to be like a nice little complex for uh, warehouses. So really quick, let's get this piped. It's already piped and good to go. We're going to need some electricity. It was almost there, but that's going to be in a street. So that's not what we want. I'm going to back this up. All right, that should be solid. I'm going to get these situated with uh, commercial goods. And I want to see just, you know, you know, taking a look next episode when we come back to this, see if this has done anything. If it's done stuff, then that means we just had a good storage facility set up on our other industrial zones. And that's kind of what this was lacking over here. But I did have some set up, so it's not like they didn't have any. Uh, so we're going to have to see. I just need these all to get to like the really high level. And they should have enough places... You know, for them to be able to shove the shit that they need to. But all these people are working. Like, these are full-ass shit. 12 out of 12. And we got just random ones. 18 out of 18. Three over-educated workers. So I have a lot of, you know, smarter people working these jobs than we should. But we don't have a lot of special factories set up yet. Uh, this one's still going strong. It's making fuels. It's production value of $5,720. So I think it's time that we can start looking at unique factories. Uh, but that's a shit that really confused me because you got to get a lot of stuff going uh, to kind of get those in production. A clothing factory might be possible. Um, it's it's saying a lot of animal product stuff, so I might be able to kind of have uh, one over here just to kind of see what's going on. It has a very weird shape how it kind of goes off to the side here. I'm going to splice it right there. It's going to cut around these, but I can't do much. So I'm just going to bring it back around this building. Is that even going to hit? Is it going to have electricity? Fuck no, it's not. Of course it's not. Let's get it deleted really quick. Okay, now you will. That's going right on the property. I don't really like the way that looks. This is also going out to a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to get this cleaned up a little. We're going to bring that down into each other. But let's uh, bring this back. I'm going to bring it all the way over here. Go right across the freeway. Right across this road, up into the zone, is what we call it. The fucking wind farm. That way it looks a little more presentable with just like straight, you know, fucking lines instead of just jagged ones. So, uh, not enough special goods. Animal products are produced by uh, animal pastures, cattle sheds, milking pastures, slaughterhouses, crops, plastics. So, plastics are produced by cracker plants and the this one, I would assume. No, this does fuel... We really need to see that's what I'm saying. I want to see if anything bites on this. The trucks have to get over here. It takes a minute for the trucks to get there. So I'm going to leave this one for shits and giggles. Uh, but we've got to go through one of these one day and get some shit going. It's just, it's confusing because you need multiple levels. And then those have to be able to connect with those. Be able to get the, the product there. And it, it becomes a really big fucking shit show. But that's like the last factor of us being able to actually make money uh, in this game. And get like a nice amount of money in our pocket and hopefully get this to zero or positive one day that would be the biggest thing that i would like i'm gonna see what connecting this road will do or look like leading down to this road oh actually it doesn't look too bad it's not too steep of a hill that's very smooth okay well they're gonna have another way and that might help attract more people to this uh panda sanctuary uh coming from the actual neighborhood there instead of it just being like one way and one way out Anything we can do to help drive some uh, business to places is always a good thing. I feel like I want to do a little neighborhood, too. I'm really not sure, but I really feel like I want to. This is such a shit show over here. Literally fucking losing $29,000, dude. I should probably yank everything that I have here. I have grants going and shit. That would probably... Yeah, that would help. Because I can't get rid of these too, god damn it. You know, we're going to do a neighborhood on this other side that we kind of just left and haven't really went back to. Uh, it's going to keep probably the same design. I don't know what the fuck happened here with this boat-ass road. Uh, let's see what we got. We're on the uh, curved one, so we can kind of probably keep the same thing. That Oh, you know why I probably did that? So we can keep as much housing as I could possibly without it chipping in like it's doing there. But two two blocks is really not that bad. I can make do with that. Uh, let's switch back over to a nice straight line here. Uh, I'm going to pull it back just a little so we can keep as much housing as we can. Let's do like right there. That gives us zoning on both sides, which is always nice. Instead of wasting that space and 
you know, overlaying it on each other. So I'm thinking for this, since this road is mostly straight, we can just go ahead and take this. And we're just going to go a little bit into these uh, blocks. I don't see us using these outer roads too much. Oh, man, it took it from the part I really didn't want it to take it from. Which is unfortunate. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and just go back a little and uh, make a nice straight road back down to this area. I would actually like to go there. We're going to try to just make do with that. Okay, well, that works. So let's uh, get off this dead space here. And now we're left with a very interesting shape. Very uh, long, oblique uh, rectangle there. And now we can just cut it in halves and stuff. We kind of just have some fun. So what would be the best way to go about this? Uh, I can make probably just some... Maybe from here we could do something different. So we have two long, you know, streets that we're working with here. I have no connection point there. So now we have two connection points. So I'm thinking what we can do is just connect these points there so that way you can easily navigate through the whole neighborhood and then uh, we'll make some other connection points right here as well too and with these let's just see what it looks like I don't know where that's not bad you know what I mean like it could be a lot worse we'll, we'll have a nice coverage of uh, housing put in there except for this it's gonna get a little oh no put two blocks on each side okay fuck all right, shit. I'll take it. We'll see if it does the same thing here. Two on each side. Nice. Okay, well, that's a very simple yet standard neighborhood that you would see uh, in, in you know, the world, I guess you could say. So let's see if we have piping over here. We do not. So let's go ahead and take care of that really quick. We're just going to go all the way out to this main road, take care of all of it. It'll be a nice little subdivision. This is going to be a very, very healthy area of uh, housing and stuff like that farmland uh they got a little lake over there which somehow manages to take down land value i don't know how making your own lake does that but i guess it is what it is okay if we start our housing from the uh, right side here we should be able to kind of have that electricity kind of just take over we don't even need any you know uh electricity poles or anything like that to kind of get the neighborhood kicked off it's just going to be able to do it itself and I'm curious to see what these double houses are going to look like. Is it going to look kind of shitty with just these two blocks here instead of the three to possibly four that it normally would lay down? Uh, those fours gives a nice big property, which I do like. But two, I mean, it will still look nice and dense in this neighborhood, I guess, in the end of the day. Which is kind of what we want. We want it to look full of life and all that stuff. Okay, we do have houses on this side. Let's get these filled out as well. Um, might as well just kind of carry that same look throughout the whole neighborhood. I have housing on... How did I not get housing there yet? Oh, because that's the main road. So, duh. That's why. I'm going to just get rid of that. Uh, we're going to continue with housing over here as well, too. Kind of fill this all out. That corner house. And then the main roads, I guess what I could do is I could put businesses on those. So I should stop putting housing on these main roads. Or at least we could use this one for businesses. Since we have housing already here, we might as well add some businesses though. So that way they have shops that they can go to. Oh, I'm going to pause the game really quick. I'm going to go to this. And we're going to make a connection point through all of these areas. Because if we just have them kind of have an avenue that goes through, it's going to make it so much better for everyone that lives here. So let's get this, go straight across, straight across. It would be nice if we did this all the way through, but they kind of have that going through here. It's just a lot of intersection points they have to go through. Now we can let them build. Hopefully they'll rebuild around the uh, houses that we took down. I'm going to do a separation here. I'm going to do some smaller homes mixed in with some businesses. Let's delete that. We're going to turn that into, can you delete? Oh. Okay, we're going to do two houses there right next to businesses. Kind of make the neighborhood expand a little bit more. And uh, same thing here. Let's get rid of these guys. And we're going to change them back to housing. Okay, perfect. So that's going to look good. This is going to make a nice population boom. Speaking of population, 147,000 people. That is a shit ton so, you know what? We might actually be able to get up to like 600,000 people on this map because we still have a ton and we need to chip into the Holy National Park since it's fucking covered in trees anyways. We probably want to save the resources of our PC. I really do think that we're going to have a ton of room here 
to be able to get this population as close to a million as possible. Do I think we're going to hit a million? I don't think I picked a big enough map. Uh, if I would have known that we would have got this far in this game, I would have picked one that would have been a little more suitable to a grander adventure, you know, a, a, a bigger end goal. But, uh, you know, first time playing, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. So this is looking good. Look at this fucking neighborhood from afar. That's going to look so good as we keep going. I'm definitely saving these for neighborhoods as well. Uh, we'll have a little bit of room to kind of fill in down here. Not sure if I want that to be a neighborhood or we can kind of mess with it and kind of do some other stuff. But this is looking fucking phenomenal. I got to admit this this thing that was mind you, we're going to take you back. Anyone who was here for the start of this, I'm going to take you back really quick. OK, these are the two entrances that it starts you off on. You got the main freeway here that ran through normally. OK, so did a little bridge thing and went back down. And then these are the two exit points that it made. I kind of, you know, played with it and did some other shit. This is why it's so messy right here. But that was at the start of me learning this game. If I were to redo all this, I'm sure I can make it look a lot better. It's working though. Traffic is not fucked up. Like if I go to the traffic indicator here, shit's really not that bad. This is a little fucked up, but I think it's just the game thinks it's fucked up. There's really not even a backup of traffic on this road. I would label that green if I was the game, but I'm not the game, so I can't judge. Um, so yeah, but that's the start and then it just turned into this massive fucking thing and it's just so crazy. Oh my god, the weekly education expenses are up to 23,200. I'm so close to that. Fuck, I would like to get that so bad. How have we not filled any more fucking cemeteries, dude? I have so many on the map that I'm not emptying anymore. No more room. Okay, well that should be one. Like they're everywhere. I should have this challenge relatively soon. Unless they all need to fill up, which could be... Oh, you know what? It's the fact that I probably had the fucking crematorium right next to a cemetery. Like, I've done throughout the whole fucking map. So, finding these... Oh, you know what? Let's let's turn that off. See, it's... Okay, hold on. I'm going to cheat the system, even though it's not cheating. Uh, here we go. That's going to show me all the things that we have. I say we take away the crematoriums. Or, you know what? I could turn the buildings off. Let me just turn the buildings off. That way, it pushes the dead people... You know what I mean? That's like the best thing I can think of here that we could do to kind of manipulate this. I have crematoriums on every fucking block, it seems like. People just be dying up in this bitch. Hopefully this doesn't fuck with too much shit. I really don't want it to. Somehow down to 56,000. How? And then it's going to go back up to 80, which is so fucking stupid. Oh my god, I have so many buildings that are emptying, dude. This is fucked. All these cemeteries that I've had no time to fill up because they're all emptying. Okay, they're about to be full. If I get rid of those crematoriums, then it's definitely going to help my case here. Uh, so I'm going to just keep scanning. Like this right here, if I just get rid of this, it's going to push more people over to the cemetery. And that's what I want just to get this fucking challenge. I'll be damned taking a look at this clothing factory. It's actually producing... Well, holy shit, it's producing $7,000 worth of material. I'm sorry, we're worth the production value. which And we're only at like 1,600 fucking material cost. That's actually really good. And our fuels are going up too. That's probably helping our overall debt go down, which is why we're seeing around 60,000 at some moments. So honestly, I probably could get to the point where I could lay down special factories at like a high rate here. But I feel like we're going to run out of those resources really quick because we don't have many to work on. These kind of will probably hit the not enough raw materials really quick. Um, emptying finished. Of course, another one where we're emptying and that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's a landfill. Well, that's helping the... Okay, well, actually, I want to keep those emptied for right this second. Let's just move these all next to each other. That way, I keep an eye on them. There we go. So, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to go into these little areas that we have kind of made before. It's these little stretches of uh, island. I wouldn't call them islands. It's not on a body of water. So, they're not islands, obviously, because it's not surrounded by a body of water. But they are little community neighborhoods and we've been focusing a lot on this on the northeast part of our it's hard. i don't know what i should call this should i call this like a city is it like a county like what what would i call i guess a county would probably make more sense uh but we've been fo focusing a lot on like these small little neighborhoods these ones in the uh corner here in the what would this be the southwest part of the map are more isolated i guess you could say so what i want to do is i want to break that isolation up just a little we're going to go to these dirt roads here and i'm thinking about doing some very small one not one way roads but dead end roads that kind of just kind of separate off this dirt 
and go off into these trees so we can have more housing going on. So if we take a look at what's going on here, we've got two super small... I don't even know what those would be, but those are just awful. So I'm going to take them away, and we're just going to do this. That way they don't build back as soon as I fucking do this. And we have some hill here as well. I want to flatten this all out. Uh, so one, it looks good, and the, the road lays nice and flat. Oh, wow, that was super easy. Uh, we're going to flatten all this down. We've got to be careful because we are next to the water as well, too, uh, which could present an issue. So let's just flatten this all out here. I'm going to try to get rid of some of these raised portions. Uh, and this will make any type of land that we do, or not land, but like uh, roads that we lay go down very smooth and good. And I say that looks pretty good. It's almost like a nice little hill that kind of goes up, which is good because the people that live up here, if there was no trees, they would be able to see um, off into the bay a lot better. But that's just atrocious. Oh my God. This little island here with all the shit that's going. We're going to clean that up after we get done with this little idea. So go back, going back to the dirt roads here, I'm going to see if this will work placing it right where I would like to. Wow, look at that. Don't ever. They all got upset because I placed a fucking road here. Uh, I'm going to delete some. Of, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. But all right, that gives me more area to work with. Let's uh, Let's get this one as well, too. I want it to be like a curved road. Something that kind of, uh, I would say, looks more random than anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and give a nice road there. And it's going to stop. I don't want it to go too far. I want it to be a very isolated thing. Uh, and I'm not sure if I want it to extend super far here. Uh, but we technically could. I feel like this would help break up a lot of the stuff that's going on. Like a nice little curvy road that goes out to nowhere. Uh, we're going to see how it works when we add a little bit more. But I want another one here as well, too. Something that kind of goes out into... Uh, into this thing. That's kind of what I'm just feeling. We're going to have to get rid of some homes, but they're relatively small, so I don't think it's too big of a deal. Uh, I don't want micro homes in this area as well, too, so I might actually go through and kind of get rid of some of these micro homes that are here. The reason why is because I just don't fuck with them. They look stupid, and I feel like we can kind of break up some of the, uh, you know, little look with actual nice homes. That's, that's not a bad one. That's a little closer to this property than I would imagine. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's super strange how it tucked another house in there right there. I guess that works, though, huh? Uh, we've got another micro home right here. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that, though. Don't have to deal with it. Those will delete on its own accord. Uh, and so we kind of have these going out this way. Let's make sure we have piping uh, for this as well. We never want dead ends when it comes to uh, our pipes. So just because we kind of have a road that leads to a dead end doesn't mean we want that to necessarily be a dead end. Uh, and that kind of breaks that up a little. It'll just kind of give it a little flare, a little something... Uh, that's different instead of just being a patch of green or just trees and stuff like that. What we can do with this one, I'm thinking, is we have kind of like an intersection point here. I feel like I'd have to get rid of a good amount of stuff, but uh, I don't really like... I'm just going to bring it all back. I, I did not like the positioning that that was kind of going. So let's do it somewhere in the middle here. We're going to have to get rid of... Uh, is there any micro homes that I can just take away from? Not necessarily. This is like really good housing that's going on here. Here we go. This is a small ass house. Uh, we're going to start from the road. And I'm going to attempt to just delete whatever I can. And this will allow me a point of entry into this neighborhood. It's just taking fucking whatever they possibly can away. Honestly, something like that. Just something that's, uh, that's a little too straight. It looks bad. Uh, let's take this. We're going to reform it in here. So that way... It kind of like all flows together. It doesn't look so symmetrical, even though now we have an issue here where it's symmetrical. So let's just redo this shit, right? Let's make it look good. We're going to have to go out this way. We're going to curve it. I can't really get the same. There we go. That looks good. As long as it doesn't look processed, I want it to look natural. That's kind of like the whole point with the dirt roads is uh, just kind of trying to fill in some spots where we can with just natural looking roads. So now that we have that done, let's just make sure we have piping. Uh, in this area for like water and all that stuff. It would be fun in, in due time once we finish this and get this to a stalemate where we really can't do anything else. To do a map where we have to do, you know, heat because of snow and stuff like that. I do not like these homes. And I just kind of realized that they're here. So we're just going to do a mass population delete right now. Because uh, that micro home bullshit, I just do not fuck with. So... I'm going to take away this housing. I've really got to stop with those one by one squares uh, for housing. It just doesn't work. And we've got more here. It just, I don't know. I don't like it. So 
does not look good in the uh, area. These aren't bad over here. These look a little more presentable. Just those other ones, like, it just, it looks bad. Really, really bad. Okay, that's a nice one. Everything's looking solid here. Um, we'll go through and kind of get these neighborhoods built now that we have everything touched up. So I'm going to drop these really quick. That way we don't have to do a million clicks. All right, the housing has been done. So we're looking good on that. I'm going to let that populate. And we're going to move across the street to this god-awful shit, whatever's going on here. We have a dilapidated little, uh, you know, I, what would you call that? Uh, a dock, I guess, yeah. We have some type of, like, old cannon, which I don't know why we would even need that there. You're trying to tell me that this was some type of military base back in the day? Got some Stonehenge bullshit, but all this doesn't mean anything, so we can simply just delete it, kind of get it, get rid of it, clear up the area. And already that's going to look better. So this doesn't have any fucking electricity anyway, which means it's not operating, right? It's operating at a reduced rate, so I'm going to check my water really quick. So our sewage treatment, this is water pumps, picking up water. Um, I feel like I could put those anywhere. Don't, don't we have a sufficient amount of water being pumped in, though? Okay, that's a water pump right there. I feel like I can capitalize on... No, because if I do too many, it sucks up all the water from this area. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to just put the pumps on this side over here. So we're going to move these around. Let me just make sure there isn't like an eco-friendly version. And I do apologize if you guys uh, apologize if you guys hear the air conditioning too. It is extremely hot now that it's summer. And uh, that's going to have to be going to make it in this fucking office. That's for sure. Uh, so let's get this connected here. And there we go. Okay, looking good. And we're going to need the electricity. That actually might be fusing together, which it's not. So we're just going to give a little connection point here. And that's going to allow us to clean up a lot of the shit that we kind of had going across the water here. Just looking really shitty on that island from across the uh, water. And it would be nice to have that this island looking it's at least somewhat decent for the people that do live in this general area. And I would say that looks phenomenally better. Absolutely. Some of these trees look like fake, like they shouldn't even be here. I'm going to do some palm trees, I think, which might look better on this uh, island than just regular like trees that you would see on a like neighborhood or something like that. So let's get these all out of here. Bye bye. Any more? Any takers? Because you're about to get demolished. All right. So now we're left with a pretty rocky island. What we could do is we could smooth this out. I'm going to test this theory. And oh, God damn, that really... Why is it so aggressive? That's still just aggressive. I really hope that's not fucking with the water or anything like that. Because that would not be good. Okay, I need to turn this down. It is just aggressive. Also, is this smooth? It is soft. And what the fuck? It's just being so aggressive. Okay, that's because of that thing. So we don't want to take too much off the top. If we take too much off, it's going to uh, fuck with the water. So we just kind of want to smooth it out. Which is going to make it look a lot better from... Uh, the other side of the bay as well. So the people that live there can have a nice little island they can look at. What I can do with this island, I seriously have no idea. Um, it's very odd shaped, but that looks 20 times better when it's all smooth and kind of flattened. And then what we could do is we could go through here. I want to say it's one of these. Oh no, it's this and then sand, right? Use primary mouse to paint. Okay, so we can add sand. Uh, we can take away the whole hill and just kind of make it look like an actual island. Or like the whole grass and just kind of make it look like an actual island with the uh, sand. Kind of manipulate what's going on. So they would use this on maps that are like deserty, So you get that desert feel. Or if you're trying to uh, kind of make your own beach, that's what you would use as well too. So we wanted to finish off that look. So if we want to complete that look of like being on the beach and living on the beach. We can take... I feel like I've done this before, but for some reason it disappeared. What is that? Yeah, I swear to God, I went down this whole thing and added a beach before. That's just crazy. And the unfortunate part is you can't bring the beach or you can't bring the grass back once you kind of take away the beach there. So I say we should be a little bit careful with how much that we uh, take out, though. So let's just kind of follow this and we'll just kind of let it sputter off there. So it kind of looks like it goes from beach to grass really quick. There we go. Kind of a mixture. And we want to make sure it's nice and solid back here, getting rid of all the... Uh, the grass. I want to say it leaves some like under the trees here that you just can't fucking get. 
Oh, it's like a part of the tree. I see. Interesting. Okay, well, these people now live along the beach, which is kind of cool. I want to make sure that this has the same uh, aspect kind of all the way up. So we're just going to get rid of all the grass that they have in the backyard. Kind of just fill it in with... Yeah, each bush has its own little... Even the swing set has a fucking patch of green, dude. What the shit? That's weird. I wonder if that's the same in the desert map then. I mean, you can't really tell from this far, but you can definitely tell when you get close. Okay, well, that's their island. Uh, there's no name for it or anything. There's nothing that we're going to be able to put on it. It's going to be a very basic, very boring island. Um, and I don't even think that there's many props either. Uh-oh, we're having electricity problems. I guess this is not actually connected to this area. That'll create an actual issue for sure. Uh, so let's get that connected without taking any homes. They'll finally have the power they need. That's going to kind of fuse it all the way down there. And uh, we're looking good over here. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Now, let's take a look at this. We have this odd-ass opera house that's kind of been sitting here. I wonder how this uh, temple complex... 30 people are visiting it. That's not bad at all. Even parking on the dirt road. He's got a sports car there, dude. Nice. Glad to see that that's working well. Uh, you know what? This might be a not-so-bad place for this opera house. If I do it correctly, I might have to get rid of some homes. But uh, kind of having the opera house overlooking the water right there might not be the worst idea. Oh, we got some sh issues over here. I swear to God, dude, this business will not make it. Oh, the corner. Shit, I didn't even think about that. Fuck. Okay, we need to add a uh, crematorium. And the reason why I'm choosing a crematorium is because this shit is not going to fit a cemetery. So we're just going to have to keep chipping away. And they're just going to be a self-sufficient little area they got over here. Honest to God. Uh, there is not much we're going to be able to do other than that. And I feel like we should just delete this. I would hope not enough goods to sell. God damn it. I don't want to build a road here, dude. That's not what I want. If I build a road, it's going to look so bad. Let me go under the water. I can't go under the water. Yeah. Slope too steep. Cannot build on water. Yeah, well, that's probably because I'm using a road that's not meant to be made as a fucking tunnel. I want to just see for shits and giggles how this is going to work, if it's going to look. I think the slope would be way too steep, which is the... Uh, cannot build on... Well, I'm not building on water there, champ. I'm... Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we just hacked the system! Holy shit! Oh, it's go time, baby. <laughs> let's go. Alright, uh, let's, let's just do this logistically here. You're not going to let me attach that? Okay, we're going to back it. Oh god. Oh, shit. There we go. I didn't know we could do that. Uh, let's do this. We've got to figure out a logistical way to get this attached here. Oh, that's right. I've got to bounce it back up. Shit. So, that's not working. Uh, it worked to get it in the water, but I can't get it out of the water. So, I'm going to attempt to do it backwards, and I think that's going to be the best way to go about this. I'm going to attempt to do an entrance or exit over here, and then we'll kind of work our way to using them in the middle. Uh, so I think a good entrance point would kind of be like right here, but let's drop it down low. Now we're going to have some stuff I feel like that's going to be in the way. So let's move it over just a little to like right there. Is it literally just like this road that will not be built in water here? Like what in the shit is going on, dude? Makes no sense. Maybe I have to make it a larger road to be able to get in the water. No, I can't build in water. Well, how the fuck have I made tunnels for every other thing then. That just doesn't make any sense. Maybe I try a freeway? I don't know. Let me see if I can change the characteristic. I've made fucking tunnels and shit before. I don't see how this is even possible. All right. Well, that did not work the way I was thinking it was. We have this road, but unfortunately it just seems to be going nowhere. Um, and I really don't know how we can get it to connect anywhere, dude. All right, we're not going to deal with this right now because I have boats that are going through this path. And I think that's what's fucking something up here. It's the boats that are going like through this path that they're making. And for some reason, they're making such a hard turn here. So we're going to leave this way it is. I'm going to look into this and see if there's a way that I can possibly go about making this bridge. I've done so many bridges and I have went through water with them. I've done some pretty actually intricate stuff with bridges here. And, or not bridges, but like tunnels. And for some reason, it's just not working. Like this one right here, if I were to click on this, go down. Uh, this one fuses with this uh, exit point so you can get on this bridge here. 
And then it's just like there's a lot of them. This one uh, goes underneath this two lane highway. There's there's a ton of fucking bridges that I've done. A lot of intricate ones go through this mountain here so people can get on through the freeway and then pop out after they get through this shit. Like this is a long ass tunnel that they have to travel through and then they pop out here. You would not even guess. And then it goes right back into another tunnel to kind of get away from all this stuff. It just kind of goes to show how much, you know, tunnel work that we've done. And for some reason, it's just not working. Um, I'm not sure if it's because it's in the middle of the water. But it's not like we haven't built stuff in the middle of the water before, so that's weird. Uh, I wonder how our storage is looking. I bet you these things are 100% full across the board. 88, 86. That's actually not as full as I was expecting. So, uh, okay, we're looking good on that front right now. Um, but I think that's going to be an acceptable place for us to wrap up with all that we did. Uh, I got to kind of focus on some other stuff before I take off out of town, and it's just going to be a hellhole in, in a nutshell. That's pretty much the easiest way to go about it. So, nonetheless, thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of City Skylines, and we will see you next video.